Hey, what's up guys? It's New England 911 here, and for some of you guys who used to watch my old channel, it was the Toy Collector 24 I have an Instagram account for it, but I switched it over to, England, to New England 911 because I just wasn't doing diecast videos anymore, but due to popular demand, and I put a poll on my Instagram account, New England 911 you guys wanted to see the haul from the Fire Muster yesterday in Milford, Connecticut, Engine 260 put it on, very nice Fire Muster, a lot of people were saying that it wasn't as good as past years, my first time going there, I really liked it. I ended up going to New York afterwards, not New York, not New York City, but like right outside New York City, almost in the Bronx, but like uh, right in New York, that area. So I'll show you guys some of the die cast I picked up on the way there and also at the show itself. Most of this is from my uh, guy, Russell. He is a big die cast fire collector and he's been collecting for like 40 something years and uh, he's passing his collection down to me and I've been buying it piece after piece after piece and uh, one day I'll probably own a good portion of his collection but uh start off here is one of those i don't know which one to call it but engine 260 that's the uh the company that runs it they are out of milford connecticut this i got this at target you guys can find these at your targets now it is a national parks ford expedition color changer these are like 3.99 retail at target uh kind of expensive considering that they're plastic they're a plastic body so it can be color change and uh, metal base instead of the plastic base metal body but hey nonetheless it's still a really nice car what you guys are looking back looking at in the back here is kind of like a strip they used to sell a KB toys there's actually still a KB price tag on it that's not what i paid for it but you get four or five models in here i think there's five of them so these are like a the original five packs if you want to call it that each one have has this like logo on it as like the company logo i guess so pretty cool as a theme and uh, now we're going to start getting to the good stuff I'm going to start off with the stuff I got today from the Johnston Fire Meeting. It's the same stuff that was in Milford, Connecticut, but I didn't pick it up then. I got it out of Johnston, Rhode Island. These are, they talk, or they're supposed to talk. It says 15 things, but when you squeeze it, it's broken. It doesn't really work, but it's got a nice police car back there, Metro Police. Really nice. And I got a bunch of those. I'll show you guys some fire trucks and stuff like that. Speaking of fire trucks, we got one right here. The Pierce Dash Fire Truck in yellow. This is like 2011. I want to say 2010, so pretty nice. I love this casting, it's one of my favorite. I almost have every single, I might have every single uh, release on it for colors and all that. This five pack, it's a police five pack. So you get five police vehicles, really nice. Some are fantasy, but this one's really nice. And also this one, I believe that's an Impala, kind of like a SWAT truck. And then you got the heli, and then you got like a command unit. Or a sw another SWAT truck, if you want to call it that. It's a pretty cool five pack. I picked it up. It was like five bucks. That's what they go for retail. I like it. It's kind of old too, from like uh, 2006. I want to say was when Hero City was around. 2003, early 2000s. And then we got some of the premier ones. These are the nicer ones that everybody, if you're a fire collector, are going to be after, including me. And I actually had lists for all these. And we got these are based off real fire departments too. So we got Laurel Springs Fire Rescue. It is a ladder truck, Series 21 from the Premier lineup, and then we also got Park Ridge, which is a yellow ladder truck. Very nice, rubber wheels, you get that little collectible box to put it in. I keep mine carded though, I just think they look nicer, and uh, when I open them up, I, lose, I tend to lose track of them, but if they're carded, they're a lot bigger, easier for me to store, and they just look nicer overall. And uh, now we're going to get into the box, or the bag I should say, that I picked up and I posted of. You got this police five pack which was on top you got the command center the old ltd police car you get like a blazer bronco uh let's say camaro police car z28 and then you got the heli very old old five packs the action system it's pretty neat i don't have this one i have a lot of the cars loose because back then people were opening up the police stuff and it was popular back then and this one is also a pretty popular one this one was actually hard for me to find, but luckily Russell, my diecast hookup, had it. He has this one, and there's also a yellow one that is military. But if you look on the back, the 164 miniature scale, there's like five, six of them, five of them, and then the large scale. The guy had the large scale there, but he wanted about 100 bucks for it. He wanted $95 for it, which is a lot. They usually go for that online. Um, I think there's one on eBay now for like 80 bucks or on Facebook, but this one, really, really nice. Ford truck, very nice detail, 
360 detail. There's another version of this without the 56 on the hood, which I still need to go after. Hopefully I can get it soon, and this one is based off of, what is this, Trucksville Volunteer Fire Department, the white stripe on the side. And some of the other premieres I picked up, I think I got four of them here, five of them if you want to put that one. K&B Toys came out with an exclusive line. There was four of them, maybe six of them, but uh, the only one I have to get now is the 2000 Chevy Suburban, which is white. I still got to get that one. And this is a 2000 Chevy Suburban, but it's not KB Toys exclusive. This was just found in your other stores. I'm guessing Toys R Us had these. KB had these actually, but it's not the exclusive because it'll have this KB exclusive Toys logo on it. And uh, next we got two more. This one I already have actually, but I didn't have my list with me, so I picked it up kind of on a bad card, but I didn't I didn't think I had it, but I ended up having it because I checked my list. Now the 2000 Chevy Suburban Fire, but it's a little bit different than the one over here. Pretty nice Fire District 1. These are really nice because they're more realistic than Matchbox Mainlines. Mainlines are like the $1 cars you find on the pegs today. And these are like the premiums. I just like these better because they're rubber wheels and they just look overall better. Packaging, display, and everything. This is a fantasy casting, but it is part of the Real Working Rigs line, which is on the pegs today. They came out with them about a month ago. They hit the shelves and they disappeared. So I'm not sure when the next shipment is coming in. But you guys can see all of them on the bottom there. This is only 2016. They paused for about two years. And 2018, they are back. And they're going to have more in 2019. So I'll be after that. There's actually a Pierce fire truck that's out now. That's out of Roanoke, Virginia. That's the decal on it. Here's another one of the talking trucks. This one does not work. I don't think. Only one of them worked that I had. I'm not sure which one it was, but this one's like a forest fire truck. Very nice uh, fire in the trees. Looks pretty cool, scenic and everything. And then we got this Dare police car by Racing Champions. They made a bunch of these. There's over a hundred of these models, all different. And they are all based off of a, a town. They're limited to 9,998. This is issue number 37. Not This is not number 37 out of 9,998. This is issue 37 out of 109 is in the set. So there's definitely a lot of them. So let me know if you guys like this uh, haul type videos. I used to do them um, on my channel before. But if you guys like them, like the new diecast uh, police fire guys, if you guys like it, let me know. And I will definitely do it more often. But I don't know if somebody wants to watch a video of me talking about diecast I picked up. But let me know. This one is Fort Wayne. Uh, Fort Wayne International Pumper. I already have this one. Like I said, I picked it up without uh, without my list, so I didn't know. Very nice uh, card art. And uh, now we're gonna get into the main lines. These ones are the main lines. These were like one to two dollars each. Oh wait, no, I got more Premier stuff actually. More Premier, more real talking, real talking toys. This one's a police one. This is not the one that works. Police tow truck. Now this is another tow truck I got here. This is the one that worked, because it's the last one that I have. This one, I think, worked. There it is. Pretty nice. It talks. You get the... I think, no, it's just a regular car in the background. Nice car art on these. Real talk, and there's a bunch of them. There's an army truck. There's a fire engine. I have a couple of the fire engines that are loose that I got working, but I don't have them with me outside. Out of their... Uh, I should say out of the bin... This one is the uh, same thing as these ones, Matchbox Collectibles. These are premieres. Jeep Cherokee Fire from Series 7. These were from, like, Series 21. I think this is a special series that they did for these. But uh, I didn't have that one, so I had to pick that one up. Yeah. Oh, no, I got one more of these uh, Real Talking ones. Kind of like a Coast Guard Beach Rescue type uh, beach patrol on the front. Based off of looks like a Ford. It's not licensed, so it's not going to say Ford on it. And uh, now we're going to get to the main lines. These main lines are all realistic cars for the most part. Because I like the... I like Matchbox a lot than Hot Wheels because Matchbox makes realistic models. Here we got the Ford Expedition. Like, it's... K&B was a buck fifty. Yeah, I want to say I paid a dollar for it. The good, this guy, Russell, has been hooking me up with some great stuff. And I can really appreciate that. He sets up at all the fire musters. So if you guys see stuff here that you like, he had every single one of these times two. So there's definitely plenty to go around, and he'll probably give you good prices as well. 
and uh, this one's cool, the Dodge Monaco. I got two versions of this, the black and the white, and the blue and the, the blue and white. Sheriff, and I believe that's local, yeah, local PD. Now we got the ladder truck from Hannaford Supermarket, that's still around today. The Dennis Sabery. I didn't have that one from the Hero City line. We got a Chevy Impala Police Chief car. Pretty nice. We got a, another one of these Dennis Sabre, but they renamed it to the 2006 Fire Engine. And then we got a Dodge Charger Chief car. Watkins Glen, Watkins Glen Fire Department Rescue 56. That's a Hot Wheels car from 2011. And uh, last but not least, we got, oh, we got a third one. I think I picked up two of these, the Dodge Monaco's, because I like the police cars. And he, did, he doesn't know a lot of police stuff, which is why I picked it up. He does all fire stuff. He's selling off his police stuff now, though. We got the white Pierce, and then we got another one of these yellow Pierces, because I picked one up today, and I picked one up yesterday. And uh, that's pretty much all that I have to show. I do have two more things. Um, I'm not sure if you guys want to see the shirts, but I do have this. It is the Dare... Same thing as I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. You got Matchbox Dare on the front. And I also have this license plate three pack. These are books with the police car, fire truck, and the rescue chopper attached. Pretty nice. Three books. And then you get the back of it. Pretty nice. I like that one a lot, actually. I like the weird stuff. Kind of like the premieres, the the weird multi-pack plate. I'm not so much in the fan of the play sets, but like stuff like that with the real models in it. Like that is a Chevy Chevy Blazer. I'm not sure what that is. It's one of those. Chevy Blazer, Ford Expedition, one of those uh, bigger models. And I also picked up uh, a couple shirts, which I will try to show you guys because I can't fan them out here in this tight area, but kind of like an overview. This was, uh, I got this today in Johnston, Rhode Island. Rhode Island Antique Fire Apparatus Society. And then the back of it. Here's what the back is. It's kind of like their logo. The chicken, the state of Rhode Island, and then you got the uh, the anchor. Pretty nice. And I also got a second, I have a third shirt actually, which I picked up. You got the, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. You got the picture of the La France, Milford, Connecticut. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if the camera's facing the other way, but that's that. And now the last, uh, not truck, the last shirt that I picked up was this from the Mass Fire Association. We have the fire truck on the front, Mass Antique Fire Apparatus, Sun Cook Valley, and then on the back, yes, there is something on the back. You have their like patch. So that's really nice. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul video. I will know by the comments, hopefully the ratings and the amount of views. If you guys do not, then I probably won't make these, but if you do, let me know. If you guys wanna see a video, of Russell's table, he's got like seven or eight tables full of cars, die cast from Corgi to Code 3, Matchbox, Hot Wheels, um, Greenlight, Dub City, uh, Maj Majorette, and just tons and tons of brands of die cast. Some that I've not even heard of from like Germany and Australia, and just so many, so many cars and die cast. But yeah, like I said, let me know if you guys want to see more. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully, I will see you guys in my next video, and I'll see you then.